It's another Mate here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're talking about the parts of the ellipse and identifying the parts of an ellipse given an equation. We will be using our formula for finding our different parts of the ellipse. So let's start with x minus 2 squared plus over 16 plus y minus 5 squared over 4. That's equal to 1. So first, we will be identifying, because in our formula, if you try to look at on this side here, we have an x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared. That's equal to 1. Our foci is going to be determined by the formula, which is h plus c comma k, and then your h minus c comma k, or simply h plus minus c and then comma k. That is our foci for the orientation which is horizontal. We have the vertices. We have here h plus a comma k and h minus a comma k or simply h plus a plus minus a comma k. For that is for the vertices. And in co-vertices we have here h comma k plus b and h comma k minus b or simply h comma k plus minus b. That is for the co-vertices once you have horizontal orientation. And on the vertical orientation, we have x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equal to 1 as our standard equation. We can determine our foci by simply having the formula h comma k plus minus c. And then vertices, we have that as h comma k plus minus a. And then the co-vertices is going to be determined by h plus minus b comma k. So using those formulas, we can simply identify right away our vertices, co-vertices, uh, co and foci. So first, let's try to identify our center and then our a, our b, and our c. So those are the needed information for identifying the different parts of our um, ellipse. So let's start off with the center. So looking at our example here, we have x minus 2. If you try to look at our denominator on x minus 2 squared, we've got that bigger as compared to 4. So this is with horizontal orientation. So basically, we will be using this formula here under this standard equation. So basically, once you look at x minus 2, that is similar to x minus h. So the center, once we identify that one, it's going to be with, since this is a minus 2, so that should be a plus 2. And then this is a minus 5, so that should be a plus 5 here. So that's our center. So once we have the center, we are now ready to identify our a, b, c. a is the distance from the center to the vertex. vertex and then B is the distance from the center to the co-vertex. And then C is the distance from the center to a foci. I mean to a focus. Now, identifying A here, take note that the bigger denominator will be our A squared. So since 16 is bigger than 4, this is our A squared. And then identifying the A is just simply getting the square root of our 16, and that's equal to 4. Now, for b, if this is our a squared, this should be our b squared. So b squared, getting the b value that of that one, you just get the square root of that, and that is equal to 2. So for c, we just have to use or make use of the formula, which is c equal to square root of a squared minus b squared. Our c here will be equal to our a squared. If you try to look at the, this one here, this is our a squared, and this is our b squared. So automatically, we can say 16 minus 4. That will be now equal to square root of 12. Or this is simply equal to 3.46. I believe so. That is 3.46. So let us now go for identifying our different parts of the parabola. So let's start off with uh, the foci. Because we had that one in the formula as the first one is the foci. So we start with the foci. So, that is h plus minus uh, c, and then comma k. So, that should be our foci. So, how do we identify that one? So, 
We just have to make use of the values that are here and take note on the setter our h is 2 and our k is 5. So first, let's try to identify the foci. The foci coordinate shall be identified through using our h plus c, comma k, and the other one as h minus c, comma k. So our h here is 2, so we just have to replace that one with 2. And then we have plus, our c is 3.46, and then our k is 5. Then we go to the other coordinate. We have our h, which is 2, and then minus 3.46, and then we have comma 5. So simplifying those things, so we have that one as 2 plus 3.46, that will be equal to 5.46. So we have 5.46 for this one and then 5. And then on the other one, we have 2 minus 3.46. That's equivalent to negative 1.46. And then we have that one as with 5. So that is our foci. So let's now move on to the vertices. The vertices, we just have to make use of the formula wherein you've got their h plus a comma k. And then we've got also h minus a comma k. So vertices, we just have to plug in. So we have our h, we have 2, and then plus our a, which is 4, comma, our k is 5, and then we have h, which is 2, minus our a, which is 4, and then comma, and then, which is 5 on k, and then close. So simplifying that one, we have that as 2 plus 4, that's 6, and then we have comma 5, and then we have 2 minus 4, that's negative 2, and then 5. So those are the coordinates of the vertices. Now let's go to covertices. Under covertices, we've got that one as h, comma, k plus b, and then h, comma, k minus b. So plugging in, we've got our h as 2, our k as 5, our b as 2. And then comma, we have our h is 2, our k is 5, and then our b is 2. So simplifying that one further, we've got that as 2, 7, and the other one is with 2, 3. So that is, or those are the different parts of your ellipse. So let's now move on to plotting that one in our Cartesian plane. So plotting or graphing our ellipse. We start with the foci. So foci, we've got that one as, as 5.46. So 5.46 is somewhere here. And then we've got 5 on the y-axis. So we just have to trace that one. So this is where our 5.46 and 5 is. Next one, we've got negative 1.46. So this is negative 1. So negative 1.46 might be somewhere here. And then we plot that one as this one uh, is one of the focus and the other one is this one next one we go for the vertices the vertices is with six five so we have six and five here this is our vertex the other vertex is with negative two five so this is where it is and then for the co-vertices we have that one as two seven so two is here and then seven is here and then the other one is two three so two is here and three is here so these are our covertices. So connecting the covertices and the vertices to draw the ellipse. So this is somewhere or somewhat your ellipse. Sorry on that one. Okay, so this is somewhat your ellipse. There you go. So that is how you find the parts of an ellipse and then also draw the graph of an ellipse. Okay, we have here the next problem. We've got 9 times x plus 1 squared plus 4 times y minus 1 squared. That's equal to 36. So all we have to do is to transform this one into a standard equation of our ellipse in which on the right side is 1 and on, I mean, on the right side is 1 and then on the left side we've got fractional form for, the, for that one. So how do we do that? So we just have to make this one into 1 by simply dividing this by 36. 
So once we divide that 1 by 36, we also do the same thing on the left side so that we do not change the meaning or the, the original equation. So after that one, we've got now 9 over 36. That will be uh, simplified into 1 fourth because we divide common factor here on 9 and 36, which is 9. So 9 divided by 9, that will be equal to 1. So we have x plus 1 squared over 36 divided by 9, that's 4. And then plus, we have here 4 and 36, common factor for that one is 4. So we divide each of the number here by 4. So 4 divided by 4, that's 1. So we have y minus 1 squared. At the top and at the bottom part, we divide this by 4. So 36 divided by 4, that's 9. That will be equal to 36 over 36, which is equal to 1. So let's start off. Let's identify the center. The center here is... Um, on HK, so we have that one here. This is our H, this is our K. So we've got plus 1 here, so that should be now negative 1. On Y, we've got that one as negative 1, so that should be positive 1 here. So that's the center. Now let's go for A, B, and C. For A, we've got the bigger number on the denominator is 9. So that should be our a squared. So getting the square root of that 1, that will be 3. Here on 4, that is our b squared. So getting the square root of that 1, that is our b. For c, we just have to do our formula, which is square root of a squared minus b squared. And if you go back, this is our b squared. This is our a squared. So we can just plug in those two. So we have 9 minus 4. And this will be equal to 9 minus 4, which is square root of 5. So square root of 5, that will be now equivalent to 2.23. So our C here is 2.23. So let's now go for identifying our different parts. We start with the foci. For the foci, we have that one. Since this orientation of the ellipse here is vertical because we've got a bigger denominator on our y-axis so we will be following this form this formula here so let's start with the foci we have that one as h k plus c and the other one is h k minus c so we have our h this one is our h this one is our k so this one should be negative one comma k is one plus our c which is two point 23. And then the other one, we have that as um, negative 1, again on H. And then we have our K as 1 plus, I mean minus, because we're done with the plus, so that should be a minus, 2.23. So simplifying that one, our foci now will be negative 1 plus 3.23. Now the other one is um, the other one is negative 1, and the other one, which is 1 minus 2.23, that will be equal to negative 1.23. So that will be our foci. So let's now move on to the vertices. Vertices, if you try to look at the equation, I mean formula, we've got that with h comma k plus a. And then the other one is h comma k minus a. So following our formula, we've got that as h, which is negative 1. And then we have k, which is 1, plus our a, which is 3. And then the other one is negative 1, and then comma 1 minus 3. So we have negative 1 and 4. The other one is negative 1 and then negative 2. So next we go for the covertices. For the covertices, we have that one as h plus b comma k, and then h minus b comma k. So following our formula, so we have our h, which is negative 1, plus b, which is 2, comma k, which is 1, and then the other one is negative 1 minus 2 comma 1. So this is negative 1 plus 2, that's 1, comma 1. And the other one is negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3, and then comma 1. 
So those are the different parts using our formula. Now let's try to plug in, uh, I mean plot our points or the different parts of the ellipse. So let's start with negative one and then 3.23. Okay, so let's start off with that one. So negative one is here, so we have 3.23, that is somewhere here. And then the next one is negative one and then negative 1.23. So that is somewhere here. So those are our foci. Next one, we go for the vertices. We have negative one, four, this one. And then we have negative one, negative two, which is this one. Next, we have the covertices, which is one, one. So this one here. And then we have negative three, one, which is this one here. So tracing the vertices and the covertices, we will now be drawing or graphing our ellipse as like this. So that is our ellipse. That is how you find the different parts of the ellipse. And so with uh, draw the graph of the ellipse using our formula.